Okay, it is Monday, January 4th, 2021. This is the residence at 3660 Vista Campana North, unit number 15. Is there 15 up there. And uh, it is uh, 7.30 in the morning. <clears throat> and today we are going to surrender the keys to this place to the landlord. And we're gonna do a quick walkthrough here. It won't be so quick, I guess. We're gonna do a detailed walkthrough uh, here uh, to show that we left the place in good order and uh, didn't leave anything behind and all that stuff. So basically we started the front door here and uh, we have, per their request, removed all the improvements, which means we've removed the carpet and the ceiling and stuff that I did over here on this front porch. And now you can see the detail, the actual condition of this thing. Um, before I came here, um, I had laid uh, outdoor carpet and padding and and uh, some uh, over the all of this too it was really nice and you can see in the previous video but uh, so we've removed all that per their request and uh, so so this is back to its original state and you can see the the kind of place this was at the time I came here we've removed the desk the nest doorbell specifically at their request uh, and I've removed the uh, lamp that was here they had an old rusted out fixture and I had replaced it so I've removed it uh, removed my wall fixtures and all that stuff, but as you can see everything's in good order They did pay for and asked me to keep these new steel doors. Well, they were new two years ago when I came in here uh, With the matching for matching locks and you can see that's all intact here and uh, I guess I can they can Rescan the video, but I just want to show that everything is in good order uh, So okay, so that's the porch Come through the front door, and these are those steel doors here. You can see that's uh, and then this is their existing. Go ahead and lock this behind because we'll go out the back here. And uh, as you can see, well, maybe I'll leave this open for the light. Okay, this is the uh, this is the front closet here. Let's see all this things in the door there. See the closet is uh, empty and uh, all stuff's been removed. We vacuumed, of course, and all that stuff. So, uh, this. Okay. I'm just kind of doing a general scan of the area as we go here. Okay, and this is the dining room here. And you notice on the wall some. Um, there are some little summer glass uh, white thing, could, uh, whatever. What happened was we had, uh, this place is full of fiberglass. We had just tested and all these walls are full of fiberglass. And I guess there's some lead paint as well, but in any case, uh, but certainly mold and fiberglass, or uh, sorry, and asbestos. God, I don't know what I'm thinking here. Okay, there's asbestos that's been a subject to why we're leaving. And uh, I've got COPD now, thanks to this place and, and some other things that has to do with some uh, other issues that are going on. But in any case, uh, let me I'll make sure I'm zoomed out here because I'm getting a macro thing. Okay, in any case, uh, but you'll notice some, some uh, uh, at some places this area here, I can't I don't know if you can tell it on the video, but where the, the white paint is, um, uh, has a semi-gloss tone where the background is flat. And that's because we had talked to a local contractor here. We said, well, what do you do when you have nail holes in the wall, normally we patch them up and sand them. Well, I'm not about to sand this because it brings, releases the asbestos in, into the uh, air. And that's what we believe caused uh, some of the problems I'm having now, as well as some other things. You can see there's still, you can see there, but you can see the molds coming back there in that corner. I had sealed all this stuff off once. There used to be an open crack there and I sealed it with uh, caulk, but the mold is actually coming back. Any case, near, near mind, that's another subject. Um, so any case, uh, so the reason you have these, uh, white is the, we talked to a contractor here. I said, I don't want to do any sanding and all that stuff. He said, well, just uh, dab some um, paint to seal it uh, over the top of it and stuff. And that'll see, keep it from free floating and stuff. And apparently that's good enough for the state of California. So, uh, so we followed his advice and so that's what we've done. So you see this little, any place there was a hole or any kind of breach in the wall or anything that whatever, I just uh, touched a, just a dab of, of paint over there. You can see kind of here, a little bit here, close up here. What we did here, just there's a little hole there or whatever. And uh, here's a better example here. Uh, anyway, so we just dab paint over anything we saw an opening or whatever. So, okay, so here's the blinds and all that stuff. I don't know how much detail I want to go into here, but it just shows that everything's in 
you know, functional working order. We left it in better shape than it should see the windows here. And certainly we got it uh, by far. You can see from the landlord's own photos. But, uh, but we left it in at least as good a condition as we got it. There we go, close this up. Right, let me leave those open. Remind me to close. Okay, get some more light in here. Okay, and then, uh, but just kind of general. See this area here. Of course, we've. Okay, and then uh, let's see, let's go in there. Get all the wall. We can rewind. They can rewind the tape if you want to see. Yeah, this is good. This is pretty. Yeah, there's a ongoing theory about what's going on with these. Uh, what they think is happening is the roof is actually leaking and conducting its moisture all through the. They think the wood's uh, gotten dry rotted and whatever. And we see some evidence. I'll show you something in the bedroom here. But in any case, that's not my problem anymore. Anyway, so here's, so let me turn the kitchen light here. This is just my uh, video camera stuff here. Um, stand back here. Here's the, uh, the kitchen and all that's in here, just so they can see that I'm not leaving it trashed out or anything like that. There's a kitchen area, I suppose. I well, they should start opening these to show the students. Kind of polished. Just kind of scan through this stuff quickly here. Here's that. I left this also this brand new garbage disposal that I had to put in. You can see that's there. I left it. They paid for that. Uh, so everything they paid for has been left. What you can see in there. There's the. Uh, this is for the uh, the wrench for the garbage spoon. Uh, for jams. If you get any jams, there's that. Uh, this here. Oh. Whatever. Uh, there. There's this area here. We'll try to do the detail here, just so I don't want to be accused. These landlords and stuff like that, they, even when we've done really things, uh, really nice, you know, to, that we didn't get paid for to uh, pay for this place, like these sockets here, right? They didn't have the three, the three wire sockets, so some of those were in here. But the, they, don't, they don't have, one thing they don't have here is they don't have the, oh, there's a, a chopstick. Okay. One of the things they don't have here is the um, ground fault interrupt circuits. In the end of the uh, bathrooms or kitchens or anything, uh, none of the stuff is up to code because they never got any building permits when they did the changes here. See, that's all the cupboards and stuff there. This, show you this up here. Ceiling fan, all works, all that stuff. Uh, See, here's the, here's the freezer here. Here's the refrigerator side of it here. Uh, open these up. Open this up. And, uh, okay. Uh, these up here. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, that's done. And you can see it replaced actually those I had to replace that ballast and all that other stuff and those two panels there. I they would have cut them off if I had more time, but okay. Knees, this here. This is just uh, uh, shelf paper that matches that that was there for before. This here. Uh, oven. And here. This is the, I uh, would have kept the trash area here. Uh, here's some under counter stuff here. Da -da -da. Okay. And uh, we'll give a general perspective of the kitchen here. And uh, look from this angle here. Uh, they can, I just make sure I scan everything and then they can. Rewind the tape if there's any question. Okay, so we've done all this area here. This is the hallway here. Uh, their, their existing doorbell. We don't have the door thing out there, the, the push button, but that, that's a relatively trivial thing. And all the uh, uh, carbon monoxide, fire extinguisher, all stuff's in working order here. 
And this is the uh, guest bathroom here, or guest bedroom, sorry. God. Brain, you, see, you see that mold's coming back there. This is what we have to deal with. See, I don't know if I can zoom in as far as I can here. There's black mold, and wherever the wood meets, uh, and so there's moisture in those rafters, and uh, it's feeding that, uh, that mold. And uh, apparently that's a common thing out here. And then you have dry rot and all that stuff. But anyway, okay, so now here's that. Uh, ooh, let me back this back up. Okay, there we go. There's that. Uh, here's the... Uh, okay, and then here's the closet, of course. Here. You see. Uh, uh, let me too. Mirror doors there, and there. Okay, uh, uh. okay, I got a general scan of this and stuff. So they didn't have a light or anything in this room. I had put a ceiling fan up, I brought it back down. Okay, uh, this here. You see, it's all done there. This here is all empty here. This is the guest bathroom. I'll turn the stuff lights on. Okay, the guest bathroom here. And, uh, Okay, and this is the master bedroom here. Here's what I was, to what I was saying, I was telling you the dry rot. What's happening is, you see certain areas here now, I've, uh, a lot of them I, before I realized about the asbestos and stuff, a lot of these areas and stuff I had fixed up or whatever, but here's an example of one that was behind a bureau and stuff, but it shows a dry rot here. And this is being caused by moisture. What's happening is it's seeping down this. And you see that, see that, is that mold up there? I don't know if you can see, see that mold? Focus. See the mold right there? All that mold up there. What's happened is those rafters, the, the ceiling, uh, the it looks like they had a, what's called a gypsy roofer job. I used to be when I was, a, we used to have in the Midwest, we used to have these uh, gypsy roofers come along uh, in the Midwest. It's real bad in that corner there, you see. If you can see the black mold, that's black mold right there. And see, that's coming in all, that's coming back. I sealed it off. I put kills and stuff. Let me zoom back up a little bit. Okay. See all this out there? That's all black mold up there. And uh, they've had testers come in here and it's proven it's black mold. In any case, so what the deal is here is they just did, somebody came in here and did a gypsy roofing job, which is where these con artists come in and they slap really cheap roof uh, for uh, the thing. And that's what this has had. And so what's happened is that these, uh, it's moisture seeping in on the bottom. What's happening is running the rails, it's running uh, down, of course, under, um, but it's, what's happening is wood is old enough now, it's just soaked into it. And so that's what's sustaining all this moisture here. We have the rainy season, like we're having now, it gets all wet and that's why this mold's coming back. Anyway, I'll let them talk about that, we'll talk about that in court. Okay, so this is the, uh, make sure that this is, The, uh, there's that, there's that door. This goes out and looks out into a porch. That area out there, the area that you see out there is the area they tore up. But in any case, we're just showing the bedroom here. There's a water leak here, but okay. So here's the, uh, here's the bedroom here, closet in here. 
you can see here, everything here's that's the access to the attic, all that stuff there, here, some more moisture down there, whatever. So, there's that, these doors here, whatever, okay. So we got all that, there's a, I left that, there's a dimmer so but these, all these, all these, uh, these are all two wire sockets, these are all three wire nail, I've changed all them, I didn't charge them for that. This is just an example of many of the things they did around here. Okay, so this is the master bath here, as you can see, and then, better all. There. You see, I changed that. I replaced that, that U bend there. Like this here, area there. Shower here. Okay, this is the closet in here. You go here. Okay, so that's all that. Leave that light on there. I'll come back and turn the lights off in a little bit. Okay, so that's the uh, master bedroom and bath and all the closet space there. All that stuff. Back out the hallway here. Here's the. I don't know why you need to see this, but basically it's all as it was. Okay, we show the dining room. Now this is the living room here. Here, back out here, and. Uh, here you can see that kind of thing. You see the crack and stuff there. Uh, anyway, but uh, we're not showing the damn, you're showing the fact that it's, uh, so there's that. There's these, uh, this area is here. This. Um, and then these. This is the, it used to be the main door here, there, so here's the wall there, all the stuff, showing anything that they might, anyway, so it's what they did is they, uh, so anyway, so they actually, uh, when they tried their constructive eviction or whatever illegal thing they were trying to do on us, they actually accused us of our improvements of, of like we had done something wrong. So we removed all them, of course, but we have left the house exactly what it was. Now this out here now, you know, so we vacuumed and stuff here. Uh, I can't tell because the carpet was not the best in the world when we came, but in any case, but I, we vacuumed it. But out here we didn't do anything because their junior geniuses that they had uh, come in here and do uh, start the, the uh, repair, supposedly, quote unquote, I should say, of the uh, washing machine. They tore out this carpet here, so this is all, they've destroyed all this, and, and of course water and all this has been in here. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the uh, closet area here. The blue marks are what their environmental person marked. Left some paint and stuff there, just in case. <coughs> and matching paint to stuff around here in case we need that. All the stuff is theirs here. Okay, so there's that. And then this is the uh, one side of the porch here. Um, this is the outside of the original house. And of course, uh, all the stuff here. And this is the original window treatments they had up. Uh, put them back, whatever. All this. Um, again, the carpet here is just trash, totally. Same here. Here we've got, uh, it's a little dark in here. I don't know how this is going to film, but in any case, this here is a, uh, well, let me turn this light on. That'll help. See, here's the washing machine dryer, the original spillover. Let me close this, make sure there's nothing in here. The uh, washing machine, of course, all the stuff is as is intact and works. All the stuff, so there's this. All this stuff here, uh, just that there. so 
So, I don't see in here, they didn't have any natural lighting back here, but basically this carpet they tore up. This is all they're doing. That wall, blue X there, this is all they're doing here. Uh, the blue X there, all that stuff. Here's the side of the door. Oops, that probably wasn't too smart. I guess you can see a little bit on the tape. Anyway, whatever. So you can see, now I put these, this insulation up, I'm leaving it up there, they, it's just zip down, you just pull those blue things and it comes down if they want to take it down, or they leave it up and, and drywall over it, whatever. Um, it's their, their choice, but it makes this livable out here for, I had an office out here, so basically, so. So there's, oh boy, it's not focusing because it's not, it's too dark in here. Sorry about that, so maybe it goes a little slower here. So this is the, anyway, this is the uh, porch area. They called it livable space. It turns out it's not certified for any of that at all. It's not uh, not meant to be. There's a whole list of reasons. I'll let the lawyers explain all that. Um, is there anything behind here? No. Whatever. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, let's do the... Outside, let's see, that's the, I'm just, I cleaned up this window. They originally had it painted, this panel used to be painted over. They didn't have any treatment here, but they just had painted it, literally, with white paint. I would removed all that, so they have to get rid of it. That's their problem, not mine. Okay, so, and this is, of course, the outside area here, showing. You know, basically, that. Okay. Just kind of get the general thing here. Okay. So as you can see, we've left it in good shape. Um, it was a dump when we got here, but uh, uh, we've left it, uh, you know, in better shape than we had it. And so uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted something that we could show that, oh, here's that back door. These, these locks here match the front door as well. Here's that, that steel door. Uh, they paid for that. Uh, here. There. Da, da, da. It was new two years ago. Uh, so they're starting to get to it a little bit, but whatever. Okay, so uh, we'll leave it at that, and I'll start closing up this place. We'll be out of here. Thank you.